how to transform Figma design into Shopify store. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can transform your Figma designs into your Shopify themes. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what we need to do is we need to install a certain plugin and that plugin is called Instant. Now over here, this is the plugin itself, Instant Section and Page Builder. What this will allow us to do is it will allow us to transfer our Figma design and convert it into a theme and then you know transfer it over to shopify so make sure you create an account over here it's very simple you just go into their website and create an account and then it'll automatically ask you to sync with your shopify and once you do that you'll arrive on this page now once you're here all you have to do is just simply click on install right and it'll open up right here where you can install the application just simply click on the install button to install it and there you go as you can see it says shopify successfully connected and you are good to go so over here you will see all of your templates right if you click on all you will find that these are all the templates or well themes that you can go ahead and transfer over so what we can do now is we can just simply pick this one right we just simply click on add section right here and over here we go it'll automatically import the themes that you've made and of course within figma if you have created a theme you can easily put it into that section right here that can allow us to import it over here now it's loading up so let's just wait for it and one thing i do have to mention that it is free you can go ahead and use it for free there is pro plan as well but if you want to use it for free you can so as you can see over here zero dollars per month it is forever no risk free forever right but if you go ahead and you know purchase a plan you will see you have all these different options as well so for this one in the free plan you get to publish one page and publish one section publish one blog post and unlimited previews shopify market figma plugins all of that and for the paid version or the starter one right if we convert it to monthly it's going to be almost 40 dollars per month everything is for free you get unlimited pages unlimited blog posts publish up to five sections publish one product templates support within a day and remove instant banding as well so you get a cool stuff if you purchase it but the free version i think it is just to try it out see how it looks like see how it works and then once you feel it and you see its worth then you go ahead and buy it i think that's a good that's a good structure right there so if we come back over here you can see that i have loaded this uh section right here because the other shoe one couldn't wasn't loading up properly so right here this is how it looks like and now what we want to do is we also want to make sure that we have used the auto layout buttons right we've used auto layout on these themes and for auto layout well you have to create that design within figma itself and you have to use the auto layout section otherwise it won't work so how do you convert your figma designs over here onto the instant plugin well if you go to the dashboard right you just simply click on figma to shopify it'll take you over to this section where you get the free plugin right when you click on this button it'll open up your figma account uh, you have to be logged in and then it will ask you to go ahead and add it so then you just simply click on open in and now you have all of your you know your designs that you had created so for example i don't know what this design is but i'll just simply open it up it'll open my design here and once it's opened up like so uh you can go ahead and take a tour and okay so right here this is the plugin right and you can go ahead and run this plugin click on run and you should be good to go now what we need to do over here as you can see it'll just pop up so now what we can do is we can just simply copy the frame right it's copied it we copied the layers and now if we come back over here onto this section right here of this template let me just remove this and i just simply press paste you will see that i have imported it correctly and you will see i have no errors right paste from figma matching the fonts uploading assets now if i hadn't used the auto layout now over here as you can see i didn't use the auto layout and it is telling me you are not using figma auto layout so over here it's giving me a guide so this is what i was telling you about if you don't use the figma auto layout on your design uh it will give you an answer and you won't be able to you know use your design within shopify but if you do use it you'll be okay your design will be perfect and then what you can do is you can go ahead and publish it within your store now i've imported this design because you know i just wanted to show you the important stuff you can go ahead and create your own design and you can go ahead and import it now i want to show you one other cool thing is that 
within this plugin, you can also go ahead and edit some of these effects out. So for example, if I click on preview and check it out, uh, we can see that it actually works now, but these buttons, you know, they don't look really good. I want to add like a hover effect over here so that when I hover my mouse over them, uh, they get, you know, a little bit bigger or you know have a hover effect and same with these images as well uh, they're very simple looking so what we can do is let's close this up and we just select the element right here or actually go into layers go into containers slide containers right here and you can see this is the previous button we select that and over here come over here onto the right hand side go to uh, interactions click on add a trigger and over here you will see you have mouse hover so we select mouse hover and we have ease in and out and then we just simply click on preview so now i believe that is done and if i click on preview i forgot to change the settings so now that i have done that so if i click on the button right here all i had to do was just increase the scale of it so if i click on the preview button you can see it is moving now so if i just simply go ahead and select it and click on preview you can see it gets big right uh same thing i want to change with the arrow icon as well so over here is the icon i want to increase it as well to the exact same dimensions as well now if i go ahead and click on preview as you can see as soon as i hover my mouse over it it gets bigger so we can do these cool animations over here and then when we are done we can import this design over onto shopify so let's just say that you know you've done all the interactions you've edit it out now you want to import this design over onto Shopify. well to do that it's as simple as just clicking one button and that is clicking this blue button called publish when you click on publish uh, if you haven't connected your shopify store it will tell you to do so but if you have you'll just simply click on publish wait for a couple of seconds and it will say published in sections now if we go back into our shopify store and we go to online store and in themes and we go to customize the theme that we want over here in underneath sections right we're going to click on add sections we can find the section right here it's called section you can go ahead and name it to whatever you want uh, for example over here underneath layouts you will find that this is the name of it right so you click over here or you know if you want you can just simply go ahead and change it up but yes over here underneath sections you will find it so here it is the exact same name so we just simply click on it and we have imported the design and you can see it has the hover effect as well so it'll work after all it doesn't look pretty that's because we didn't edit it out completely but you know just for the sake of this video you guys understand what you need to do and that is it so having said that that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or come across any problem whatsoever then let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to help you out in any way i can as soon as possible and also be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video and until next time take care and goodbye